Tractor Journey. I'm Wendy and I am really, really happy you're here. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. And if you're returning to my channel, big, big hugs and love to you. Thank you for coming back for these videos and to support me. And if you're just finding my channel or are really new to my channel, I am giving you an extra big welcome to my home, to my kitchen, and to my journey and my husband's journey that we share on here. So I'm super, super glad you're here. Please like and comment and share and hit that bell and subscribe so you will know when I upload. It could be a live chat, a car chit chat, recipe, grocery haul. The main thing you're gonna get on here is a whole lot of support and no judgment. Everybody does their journey their own way, and I am here to support you and love you all along the way. So I am super happy you're here. Now today, y'all know I have fallen in love with my crock pot. So I have another um, crock pot recipe for you, and we love lasagna. Yes, we love pasta at this house. Even doing Weight Watchers, you can have pasta, absolutely. Um, so I was perusing the internet and I came across a little recipe site called The Recipe Rebel. Well, that was just piquing my interest to start with, The Recipe Rebel. So I clicked on it and it is a recipe for white chicken crock pot lasagna. And um, it kind of reminded me of like a white pizza, you know, kind of, those were those were all the flavors that, I, and, um, and that were going through my mind when I was looking at the recipe. It's only six ingredients, not counting your seasoning. So and it's really simple. There's no stovetop involved. There's there's nothing. It's just all in the crock pot. So that really made me happy. Just cut out some of the steps. So it's probably going to be about four hours in the crock pot grand total. And I will have dinner tonight. Um, well, we'll be able to choose. We're going to have this or Sean is going to grill some pork tenderloin, some really lean pork tenderloin that we got at Sam's. So we'll have that for meal prep for the week. This recipe, I, I doubled it and I'm stretching it to eight servings because in my crock pot, a serving of lasagna is about a cup and a half. That's a lot of lasagna. So I figured out for Weight Watchers, it's eight points, which for a ooey gooey cheesy um, lasagna, I think that's pretty good. And on healthy, you know, it's not quite the same algorithm as Weight Watchers. So on healthy, better balance is 10.6 bites. Still totally worth it because you can add a, a zero salad on the side of that. And we're gonna have, um, because these are definitely worth the three points. I found these at Publix. These are the Cheesecake Factory brown rolls. And it is a good size roll. Look, at, it's like that big. Oh, and they are delicious. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight is that brown roll and my lasagna. So I, I wanted to show y'all, look at this little ring that Mr. Sean gave me. I don't think I've showed y'all. It's a square knot ring. And what I love about it is the symbol, symbolism behind it. it you know, a square knot is the only knot that um, you cannot break. The, the more you pull it, the more you stress it, the stronger the knot gets. It can be like this, it can be two um, dissimilar pieces of rope. It can be the same rope, but the more you pull on it, the more you stress it, um, the stronger it gets. And he, you know, that to him symbolized our marriage. And in 28 years, we've gone through some ups, some downs, and we definitely have been pulled in all different directions, but we are stronger together. And I kind of feel like that on this Weight Watcher journey. Our community, as a community, we are stronger together. We need each other. And even though we're pulled in different directions, even though we feel like we're not doing a good job and we're just stressed, the more we um, stay together as a community, just like this little square knot, the stronger we are. So I thought it was beautiful and I couldn't remember if I showed it to y'all. And if I have showed it to you, I'm sorry, um, but you got the story again. So anyway, let's get back to this white chicken crock pot lasagna. Let me turn the camera down and I'm gonna show you what is in it. And how y'all like this hair today? It's a little bit of a hot mess, but I think I'm liking this little side thing I got going on. You know, my bangs are too long and it's about two weeks before my haircut if I don't reschedule it. So, you know, I got new hair today. All right, here we go. Let me show you what's going in this lasagna. All right, I've already sprayed my crock with some nonstick cooking spray. Let's see, I think y'all can see everything. All right, I have got four large chicken breasts. All right. We've got um, a whole block of the Neufischel cheese. 
And we've got a whole 15 ounce bag of frozen chopped spinach. I love this Italian blend um, style cheese from Aldi. The recipe called for mozzarella, but we love this. I feel like it's got more flavor and not really, not really much of a points difference. We've got oven ready uh, noodles. These also are from Aldi. We're gonna use eight of those. Um, a whole cup of cheese. Um, the recipe did not have minced garlic, but I'm adding it. My cuckoo clock. I'm adding it. We love garlic, so I'm adding four tablespoons. I'm also adding, because the recipe called for garlic herb cheese. I didn't have it. I wanted to use what I had on hand. So I'm adding um, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and our favorite nature's own seasoning instead of the separate salt and pepper. And it's gonna have four cups of um, chicken broth to help shred that chicken to go through the lasagna. And that's it for the ingredients. And I mean, that's simple. You might even have it all at home. So let me grab some tongs and we'll get the chicken in the crock pot. All right, so we're just gonna lay these in the crock pot. I think, I think four of these will fit. It's gonna cook on low to start with for about um, for about four hours. And not, not four hours, three hours, I'm sorry, three hours. Okay, so we're gonna get, there we go. We're gonna get these in the bottom of the crock pot. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to, I'm going to sprinkle the seasoning just because I didn't have that garlic and herb cheese. And I wanna make sure, lately I've been a little lax on the seasonings in my recipes because we are cutting back on sodium, um, but I don't wanna cut back on flavor, so I'm adding a little bit extra seasoning. Now I'm going to, let me get a little spoon. I'm gonna use my ice cream spoon. We're gonna sprinkle this garlic right on top. This is gonna also give it some excellent, excellent flavor. And when you see what else, you know, is gonna go in this and how it's gonna come out of this crock pot, it is also, I think, gonna remind you of that white, that white pizza. Okay, so we've got the seasonings, the garlic, the chicken. We are going to also add our spinach right in here. Okay, so I've already kind of defrosted that frozen chopped spinach and it's um, already, I've already drained the bag, so it's going right on top there. Also, what is going in is our Nufa shell cheese. Now you could use um, full fat cream cheese. You could use, you know, if you find the fat free, whatever you can find. This is just what I had on hand and I, I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just sort of, you know, cubed it up and in a little bit, we're going to stir that in. So it's gonna mix right in. Isn't this looking like that white pizza? Oh my goodness. Let me wash my hands. I wanna get cheese all over everything. All right, now. All right, and the last thing that's going in for this first three hours of cook time is our chicken broth. Now, it called for two cups in the original recipe. I doubled it, so I'm gonna add I originally was gonna add four cups. I think, you know, I don't know, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add the, add the four cups. If it's, if it's too juicy, turn it back up. If it's too juicy in the end and we need to thicken it up, we can use a little bit of cornstarch and it will thicken up. But that is, that is it for this initial step. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna close her up and we're gonna turn her on low. We're gonna turn her on low for three hours. And after that initial three hours, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the next it's two more steps. So we're gonna do those. And then by tonight, we're gonna have white chicken crock pot lasagna. So hang on, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, y'all, we are back. Let's see if the chicken is tender enough to shred. It actually has been cooking for about four hours. At three hours, it was not ready to shred. So I turned it up to high and we're going to see if it is tender enough now to shred. Let's see. have my handy dandy meat shredders. I'm, I think I'm going to try to pull the chicken out and shred it. I think that might be a little easier. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, I think we're completely ready to shred. Right, this will take just a minute. Whoop, if I can get it out. Okay. Right. Now if I make a mess here, goodness gracious. All right, let's do two at a time. This maybe won't take too, too long to shred and get back in there. I think we're tender enough. Seems like we are. I love my handy dandy little meat shredders. They make things a little bit easier, especially when things are super hot. As long as I just get it all separated. I really should have used my other trick, which is putting it in my KitchenAid uh, mixer and letting the mixer do the work. That would have been quick and fast. But I decided to do it this way. Sometimes I do the hard way. This is smelling really good. And I do think, looking at the consistency of it right now, I think that I'm gonna have to add a little bit of thickener. I should have went with my instinct and used three cups of uh, broth instead of four, but I was just doubling the recipe. And I don't know. I don't know if that was the smart thing to do. So I think next time I'll use a little less broth. But it may soak a lot of it up once we get our noodles in there, which is the next step after I get this um, nice and shredded. So, Sean just got home and he is getting the Traeger ready to put our um, two tenderloins on there. So that's gonna be yummy meal prep for the week. We still have some chicken meal prep, so we're not having to um, cook any of that today, which is good. A bit more shredding. I have really weak hands because of my arthritis. <laughs> I feel like a wimp sometimes, but even with tools, it is hard for my hands some days, and today they are really, really sore and bothering me. So I'm a little slower probably than I should be on this on this step. Alright. It's pretty shredded. Let's get this back in. And then we'll pull out the other two breasts and we will get those shredded. Okay. Let's see where they're at. It. These were pretty, these were pretty large chicken breasts too. I just had some in the refrigerator that I needed to use up. Yeah, I can pretty much tell we're gonna have to use a little bit of thickener if, if this um, does not thicken up once I get my noodles in there. We may have more of a lasagna soup <laughs> which will be fine too because the flavor I'm telling you is going to be so good I can already tell it smells garlicky and it's, it's just going to be divine all right I'm not going to make y'all watch me shred these I'm going to finish getting this shredded and then I'm going to stir in the lasagna noodles that I've already broken up and get um, turn it on high for another it says 15 minutes so we'll try 15 minutes we'll see what happens and we will go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I have let this cook for about 20 minutes. The noodles are mostly done. Um, it says now to stir these in. And at this point, if you don't think it's thick enough to go ahead and stir in your cornstarch at this point. So I did, I stirred in about um, a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. So we'll see um, how, how thick, Oh goodness, the puppies heard something. Um, how thick that gets it, uh, it's gotta cook another 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm gonna add the cheese on top now and cover it, cover it back up. And then I'm gonna let it sit after uh, this 20 minutes more of cooking. I'm gonna let it sit and kind of come together after I've turned the crock pot off. And then we'll see where we're at, whether we have soup or whether or not we have lasagna. We'll see. All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, it is sat and it is congealed and it is looking so good. Let me bring you in a little closer. Look at that. Woo wee. All right, we're gonna give it a taste test. Mr. Sean's home and grilled our tenderloin, so he's ready for a taste test. Here we go, I'm gonna bring you up. All right, come on, Sean. All right. Let's see. Where you at? <laughs> there he is. Say hey. Hey. All right, I'm going to get my little taste. I'll let him get his taste. 
Now I did extra seasoning this time, so I, we'll see. We'll see if this is gonna work. All right. Oh, it's so good. It's a little saucy. So I think it's gonna be okay. Did you very good. seasoning? I did no. extra. No, no, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, yes. I did extra, extra seasoning because I didn't want it to be bland. It's a little saucy, but I still think it will be more of a lasagna than a soup. But next time I'm gonna add one cup less liquid. But this is definitely a keeper. And we are having it for dinner tonight along with our cheesecake factory rolls that I found at Publix. Mm -hmm. So this wound up being 10.8 bites or eight points. And I will link the description in the description box. I will link the recipe for you guys and the, the original recipe. And then the recipe that I, you know, how I changed it. So I'm going to jump off here. It is early and beautiful outside. It's really hot. So hydrate if you go out and walk or something, but do something for yourself today. Love yourself a little bit today. And I will see you on the next video, which will most likely be our black bean brownie recipe. So I'll see you later.